For this example, we'll be looking at the undirected graph. So we have rows and columns which are going to be label, labeled with ordered vertices. And we want to be able to fill in our given table by writing one if there is one edge between the row vertex and the column vertex. And we're going to write in zero if no if there's no a, if no edge exists between them. So for example, between V and W there is an edge, so that'll be one. And let's say for example between V and X there is no edge, there's no direct line between them, so that will be zero. So let's start plugging in our example. So for our table, between V and V there's no edge, so we can write in we can write in zero. So that's perfect. Let's say between V and W. Well, there is an edge, so we put in 1. Between uh, V and X, there is no edge, so we can put in 0. And let's say between V and Y, there is an edge, so we put in 1. And then we continue on. So between W, there is a bit of overlap, overlap between these, but I will just iterate the whole way down through the table. So between W and V, yes, there is. We've already dealt with that, so that goes in here as 1. And for the next one, between W and W, there is no edge, so we have 0. Between W and X, you can see here that there is an edge, so we put in 1. And then between W and Y, W and Y, there is an edge, you can see this line here, so we put in 1. So, down to the next line, between X and V, there is no edge, we put in 0. Between X and W, there is this, this edge here, so we put in 1. Between X and X, which is here, there is no edge, so we put in 0. And between X and Y, there is an edge, this one here, we put in 1. Now, for the next one, it's between uh, Y and V. Yep, so that edge is here, as we can see, 1. Between Y and W, there is an edge, so it's 1. Between Y and X, there is an edge, so there's 1. And between Y and Y, so this little line or this loop line that we have here indicates that there is an edge between Y, so that goes in as 1. So that is the basis for our undirected graph.